What's poppin' everybody? Today I'm back and as you guys can see from the title, today we're doing a in-depth makeup tutorial. This is the makeup that I do whenever I go out. This is the makeup that I do when I'm, you know, when I'm trying to step out, when I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn some heads at the club, when I'm trying to get the tab paid for. <laughs> like, this is, this is the makeup that will get you some hoes. This is also the makeup that I do for my Instagram pictures. All the products, all the brushes, literally everything. Like, I tell all of how I get cute makeup. And this is gonna be it so keep on watching all the products will also be listed down below but let's get started okay so the very first step to having a nice base is obviously moisturize those lips because nobody wants some dry crusty ass lip so i'm using some vaseline as you guys can see i fucks with vaseline like well i don't know if you can see but it's like freaking empty another really good thing to do before you do your makeup is moisturize do your serums everything like that and make sure you give it time to set i do my skincare normally about like 10 to 15 minutes before i actually start my makeup i don't know sometimes i feel like when you don't let it sit it kind of like mixes in with everything and it feels kind of like icky so whenever i do like my full glam makeup i really really want it to stay just because i never fucking know where my night is about to take me like i'll go out for like a cute little happy hour and then boom i'm not coming home until like six in the morning it's just always good to be prepared stay ready so you don't gotta get ready so this is my favorite combo for long wear foundation this is the urban decay all-nighter primer and then this is the fenty beauty foundation this is in the shade 280 this is what's gonna stay on all the time and i'm not kidding i literally went okay the night started at like seven we went to dinner then we went to the club then we went to the strip club then we went to an after and then i went to lax and flew to san francisco and then i slept in the makeup until around 11 a.m the next day and it was still on it was still intact so another key to having seamless makeup is having clean brushes when was the last time you washed your makeup brushes and don't don't bullshit me really don't and i am also the worst at this i really notice a difference in my makeup when i have like super clean nice makeup brushes versus when they're all like crusty obviously your makeup is gonna look a lot smoother the brush that i'm using to stipple this all in is the morphe m6 brush and i don't really like putting makeup on my forehead just because my forehead is a lot darker than the rest of my than the rest of my skin so it's kind of like already a little contour and now to blend it out i'm gonna be using my real technique sponge i used to wet the sponge and then do the blending but i kind of started noticing there's no real difference and i feel like it keeps the product in place more when it's dry my favorite concealer right now is the huda beauty faux filter this one is so good it's so great for illuminating your face i put it on my under eyes my chin and a little bit on my forehead the one on my chin I kind of keep it around there and I also blend it up to my upper lip. This is going to be for highlighting. I let the concealer under my eyes sit a little bit just so that it kind of dries so that when I blend it, it kind of stays in that area a little bit. This is a Fenty concealer brush. Keep this right under my eyes and bring it into the bridge of my nose a little bit. I love a really, really bright under eye, so this just keeps the concealer focused. And then I go in with my sponge very lightly and then just go in over, but super, super lightly. And then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty powder. This is in the lightest shade, I believe, which is butter. Not a lot of powder. And then I'm setting the concealer. And I'm going to go in and bake, but before I bake, I just want to set it a little bit so that it doesn't get creased. Time to set my face. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I've been using this one for years and it's, it's never done me wrong. I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. I'm not going under my eyes though because I'm still going to bake. When I'm baking, I like using this little sponge. This one is a sponge that's made for applying powder it's from real techniques and it's really really good 
And then I focus this on my under eye, going into my nose. I kind of blend it out at the end so it doesn't really look like there's any harsh lines. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in a minute, so don't come for me. And then I just like getting like the little excess around the uh, cap because there's always like a little bit there. And then I'm going in and just carving out my brows. I feel like my makeup is still in 2016. I still like a very highlighted brow. I like a good highlight. I like a good smoky eye. Um, and I don't see anything wrong with this. And then I'm gonna set my eyelids using my same loose powder. This is a Morphe E48 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for setting. Okay, now time for eyeshadow. My go-to palette recently has been my Amrezy palette. I kind of forgot that I had this, but it has a lot of good basic shades. And then it also has like some little crazy cute shades. I'm starting off with these like little brown ones and I'm gonna put these in my crease. And then I'm gonna smoke out my lash line using these two right here, but that's after I like wipe off my bake and stuff. This is the Jeffree Star brush and then I'm just mixing these two. I'm going to pop these into my crease for a little bit of definition. And then I kind of blend it up at the outsides a bit, like so. Just something like super, super light. That's about it. Just wanna make sure that both sides are even. I don't really do eyeliner as much anymore, so I kind of just like to define my um, I kind of just like to define my lash line with some eyeshadow. So I'm going in with this dark brown, a little mix of the dark brown and black shade. I'm using this tiny little brush, tap off the excess, and then we're going to put this along my lash line, and then I just make a little wing. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the difference. This one's defined, this one is not. And it kind of just depends. Some days I want it more dramatic and other days I want it less. I like it to be defined, but I still don't want like any harsh lines or anything. So blending and a very light hand is super, super key. Uh, we're going to dust off my bake. So now it's time to bronze. We're using my NARS bronzer. This is in the shade Laguna. The brush that I'm using is a Morphe M427. I'm more into like a nice bronze than I am like a sharp contour. And then a lot of people ask me how I contour my nose and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I pinch my brush, go on one side, go on the other side, and then go along the bottom. In the center. I really don't do too much for nose contouring for this exact reason. My nose is literally always runny and chances are I'm going to sneeze or blow off my no con nose contour within like the first five minutes of me doing it. And this one I like to do a line that goes here straight down from the top of my ear to here even though i don't like it to be too defined i still want it to be highlighted as of late i've just been using my little elf brow pencil i've been losing a lot of my brow stuff which is why i've just been getting like cheaper items but honestly i don't really notice a difference between them so i just go in at the tail of my brow and fill them in with like little strokes and then to set my brows i use this brush and then i use my edge control to set the work i'm gonna lot. and i'm going to dust off my powder and then sometimes i have to go in and like re-blend out my bronzer if it's a little bit too sharp and then i'm going to do some blush so i'm just using my tarte blush this is in the shade seduce and I'm just going to smile. And I just kind of focus this on my apples and my cheeks. And then it's time to set my face. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. Shake it. Favorite way to get the product off my lips is by just using a Q-tip. 
my go-to lip combo let's get into it this is my nyx lip liner in nude truffle lips are all lined i leave the center of them blank because we're getting a concealer it really doesn't matter what concealer you use i like this nars one because it's very creamy it doesn't really dry out your lips because some concealers will make your lips a little bit drier but i keep it in the center and then i blend it out and this literally gives you like the perfect the perfect nude lip i'm using the nyx lip gloss this is in fortune cookie and this is just like a really nice bright pink gloss i know i look crazy right now and then that's my lip combo now it's time to do my lashes i look so good for no reason i'm really not even going anywhere right now so for highlighter i'm going to be using my bretman rock morphe highlighter i literally just rediscovered this it's just a little brush from morphe it doesn't have a name but i kind of mix these three i like a pink goldy highlight and then i just do a very light one right along my cheekbones and my nose now i'm going to pop on my lashes and the very last step to completing this body transformation is tight lining your eyes i know you guys see it when you have that little line between your lashes and your eyeball i'm just going with a black eyeliner i like this one because it's fat and it doesn't really stub my eye and make me cry and we're all done thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there are any other tutorials or anything else you guys want me to do go ahead and let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching i'm so glad to be back on my youtube grind i know i say that all the time but this time this time i mean it all right this time i'm for real don't hold your breath until the next video though just just don't thank you